Hello folks, this is the, this is the Cockney Prepper. Welcome to another edition of Life and Gear Axe. Now today, I'm going to be talking you through radio communications. Now these devices, you might often see these used in emergency situations. It's always good to carry one of these as a prepper. You never know phones when the mobile networks will be down. You can't use your mobile phone for whatever reason. So it's, it's just always good to have one of these. You can just log into any network around you. Now, I've got a bit of a cold at the moment, so my voice might be a bit croaky, but I thought I'd make a video anyway, because never stop working, do you? And it's always good to just, just keep my fans updated. Now, before we actually make any calls on this thing, I'm going to talk you through some procedures, just a couple of things that you need to know before you use these, just to get you prepped and get you ready so that you can use it properly. Now, these come in different types. So this is actually a handheld radio. We call it VHF, very high frequency. Uh, so you basically got your handheld radios like this one, you've got mobile radios, and then you've got base stations, you know, those big things that you see on top of tower masts. Um, now this device itself, I'll just talk you through what we've got here. So from the top, this is basically the antenna. You can actually unscrew that. And what you can do is you can get an even bigger antenna if you can't get the range that you're after, but generally this is all right. And now on here you've got the channel select, so the one in the middle there with the dots you see, so that will pick up different channels. And on the left is the volume and the on and off button, so you see that's on there. It'll make a little beeping noise as well, I think. Yeah, you hear that? So anyway, I'll switch that off for now. And then if you've got your, on the left hand side here, you've got basically the, at the very top, don't know if you can see that, that's the cancel button don't often use that to be honest this is the main one that you'll be using it's called press to talk PTT so you basically just hit that and then you start talking uh, but you have to hold it down as you talk and then the other one you got here what's that call button uh, I don't really know what that is I don't use that much this is the backlight on and off so when it's actually turned on you can switch on the backlight that's basically the light here on and off uh, this is your like keypad so it's just similar to a, mo to a mobile phone for those of you that, that that are used to using those old phones before the smartphone era uh, and then you've got your menu buttons here then this is your display screen and this is the most important thing I saved till last this little orange button here it's basically an emergency call button so let's say you're in a situation you've got your radio on you something's happened you can't actually make a call and call for help you can basically just hit that button and then it will send a signal to, to others or it will send a signal to the base station and they'll be able to hear everything that's going on so you don't even need to make a call you just press that it's like an SOS just press that and you just carry on uh, with your interaction whatever that, that might be and then obviously people can hear what's, what's wrong um, and then when you do that obviously try and say as many things out loud as you can give information about what's happening if you're with someone or if you need someone to be identified just say things about them or say things that you can see identify marks say where you are uh, what's going on that kind of thing but try and make it seem natural just get it into the conversation uh, so they don't really know but that's basically like an emergency call button so always remember that that's a good one to know now the other thing to remember is when you're using these things they're actually very prone to interference so you need to keep in mind often the things that will affect radio communications is the time of day so whether it's day or night uh, that can often affect what's going on the biggest issue is actually weather conditions so like if it's a bright sunny day it will normally be fine but if you've got like lots of rain or lots of other things like lightning and stuff uh, then obviously you're gonna have some issues and even wind because like basically when you're pressing that and you're talking the wind will make a lot of noise uh, there's also like electrical interferences you need to keep in mind like if it's too close to something and it's making a noise that will basically uh, affect the signal that's going out like the message uh, and then also like the distance so how far you are away from things like from from another let's say handheld radio if you're like communicating directly with it or like from the base station so yeah distance is a big issue uh, and then also like things like buildings you know buildings like like the signal bouncing off buildings like hills mountains that kind of thing you know it can actually affect the way the signal bounces and it can also like distort the message now I'm not going to go into the details why people might use radio communications. I mean if you're seeing this and you're a prepper, I'm assuming that you already basically know. But what I will say is just some of the some of the operating procedures like we call them. So like some of the main things you need to keep in mind basically when you're talking on one of these. 
Um, so yeah, generally, you should try and use plain English. So like common terminology. Don't use any slang. Uh, just use like standard English. Some people call it like BBC English. But yeah, you know what I mean. And just avoid using like technical terms. So like, you might be a technical expert on one thing, but the other person hearing it might not have a clue what you're talking about. So just make sure uh, that basically it's not too technical. And there's just like four golden rules basically. Make sure that it's clear, uh, it's brief, you're aware of the security of the message. Um, and I'll, I'll give you some more details what I mean about that later. And basically simplicity, that it's like very simple basically what you're saying. So yeah, keep your message short and simple. Uh, short and sweet as we like to call it. Um, and yeah, avoid a, like excessive calling, like don't just call like all the time and like don't just leave really long messages and stuff because like you're not leaving a monologue on here, it's just like quick short messages to people, that's it. Um, make sure like when you speak there's a good rhythm, you know, like, there's a natural break, that there are like natural pauses and that you break long messages into like smaller phrases and the speed is very important. So like speak in normal clear manner, not too fast because when you're speaking and it's actually going into there and it's like transferring it into like some digital signal. So it might take a bit of time so you can't speak like too fast basically. And also like the volume. So like you can't actually shout, you shouldn't shout into this because it will affect the microphone. You should just like speak very calmly basically. And the best thing to do really is just like have a little pause, like have a little think before you say something. So like I'm about, let's say like I'm about to say something in here. I'm not just going to pick it up and say something. I'm going to like pick it up and then think, okay, what's going on? All right, what's the message I need to convey? And how am I going to say that in a few short messages? And then you say, don't like make the statements really complicated because people won't understand that. Now the next thing we're going to talk about is basically like security, uh, like dealing with security when you're talking over these. So the most important thing to do is whenever you talk over these, like don't use your real name and stuff because basically anybody can be listening to this. Like this is not secure at all. Like this thing here is just sending out a message. So basically anyone can just listen to that message. So like, yeah, don't give your name, like don't give personal details. Uh, what's really good thing to do beforehand, if you've got a group of people or like, yeah, if you're with like a group of friends or whatever, just give yourselves some call signs. We call them like call signs. So like you can make up some random names or like make up some like numbers. So each person knows like what, the, what their call sign is basically. And also like when you speak, when you like spell things out, it can be a bit confusing because it can sound a bit distorted. So what's really good is just like use like what we call the phonetic alphabet. Uh, and I'll go through that later. I'll go through like the phonetic alphabet. So like A stands for alpha, B is for bravo, etc. So I'll go through that anyway later, later on in the video. So you like, you can have a look. I'll just write it down basically. And so one of the things to do, like when you're talking basically, before you talk, you just see that press the talk button. Just like press it for a second or two like that. Just press it and then you'll hear a noise. Anyway, I'll do this all later so you can see. Basically, when you press that, it's going to make a little beep noise. And that means like you're good to go, like you're ready to talk. But when you press that, if it like doesn't make a noise or if it says on here busy, it means like someone else is talking. So you've got to wait, basically. So that's the key thing. Like If you hear other people talking, don't interrupt them. Unless it's an emergency, let them talk and then make sure the line is clear. You can like press that to hear if the line is clear. If you get a beep and then you can like actually press and start talking. A few other things to remember is when you talk like just hold it 90 degrees to your mouth. So let's say for example like that's your mouth like you're talking there like that. So like just hold it like that if you want or like that. Yeah. Just like talk like that. No hold it like a phone. Like if that's your head. So just talk like that. And like just keep it like two to five centimeters away from your mouth. One of the main things to remember is when you're talking, like when you say your message, you need to then say like over. So like you're talking and you say over. So it means like I'm finished talking, now it's the other person's turn to talk. And then they'll talk and they'll say over as well. So that means like, all right, back to you. Because you can only have like one person talking at a time. You might hear people say a few other things like Roger. Roger like basically means, yeah, okay, like cool, got that. Uh, or like there's another thing you'll hear like Wilco means that like, will comply it means like yeah I've heard what you said like I'm gonna go ahead with that uh, that's often like if you're getting instructions from the other side it used to be like back in the day you'll hear a lot of people saying like over and out but that's that can actually be a bit confusing because like over basically means like it's gone to the other side and then you've said like out means like it's finished so it's like saying it's gone to you but I've also finished so it's a bit confusing so what you can actually say, just get used to the habit of saying like, when you're done, just say like, Roger out, that's it, like, Roger out. So you can say like, talk 
over, chalk, over, and then like chalk, over, chalk, roger out. You, you shouldn't be sending any sensitive messages over this, so like you shouldn't be saying stuff, because again, like I said, people can be listening to this very easily, yeah, it's just like there's no encryption, there's no like, you know, security, like it's just going out into the airwaves basically, anyone like with a... With a, with a hanger and a radio can probably like listen in, you know? So best thing is like, just don't speak about any personal things. Don't speak about like financial things. If you need to do any of that, you can just use a telephone or whatever. This is just for like emergency situations, really. Um, oh yeah, so uh, what I've missed out is numbers. So like when you mention numbers across this thing, you need to always make sure that like you say the number one at a time. Let's say you want to say the number 311. You're not going to say 311. You're going to say like 311. You're not even going to say like 311. Like you're just going to say like 311. If you want to say like, I don't know, 563, like you'll say 563, like that. So you need to make sure that you say the numbers like that. So yeah, that's it basically. So like, let's do a little like demonstration and I'll just like make a call to my base and I'll show you what I mean. Um, and then we can go from there. So yeah, I'm going to do a quick radio check now just to show you guys. Uh, basically what it's like actually using this thing uh, so yeah remember I'm, I'll quickly just press press the PTT button here for a second wait for the signal and then basically start talking but before you say your message you, while you're holding the PTT down you just need to wait like one or two seconds before you start talking so it basically registers so yeah let's give it a go so that's good Alpha base, this is Alpha 624 performing radio check over. Alpha base, thanks for confirming. I hear you loud and clear. Roger out. So that's it folks, we just did a little test run, just for you to see how that works. Alright, so yeah, so you heard that, uh, and that's more or less it. Of course, like there are different, different ways to like make different calls. Uh, if it's an emergency, like there's a certain way to say it, but like I won't go into that. You can just, I'll let you figure that out. Um, you can also like Google that quite easily. Uh, but I, what I will show you is what I was saying about the phonetic alphabets. So like when you're giving out numbers, because you heard me say a few like phonetic words there. Um, so yeah, basically let me just like go through that. I'll write on a piece of paper for you, so like you can have a look. So yeah, here I've got my piece of paper. I'm just going to write down like the different alphabets. What we've got here is, I'll hold this up so you can actually see. Uh, we've got A for Alpha, B for Bravo, C for Charlie, D for Delta, E for Echo, F for Foxtrot, G for golf, H for hotel, I for India. Now I've put a slash on here because sometimes you might hear people say indigo instead. Even though it's not like internationally recognized, I have heard that before. And it's, it's probably like between different services like rescue services or like basically the police or something. Uh, but just keep that in mind. And then J for Juliet, K for Kilo, L for Lima, M for Mike, N for November, O for Oscar, P for Papa, Q for Quebec, R for Romeo, S for Sierra, T for Tango, U for Uniform, V for Victor, W for Whiskey, X for X-Ray, Y for Yankee, Z for Zulu. So yeah, that's basically it folks. When you need to like communicate letters over these radios, that's basically how you can say them. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this one. I'm trying to make well-informed videos. Um, so yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed that. Hopefully you now know how to use one of these. If you're thinking about purchasing one of these or if you've got one already, um, they're great little things to have, like very sturdy. And uh, yeah, I didn't show you here. What you got here is the charger as well. So you just basically slot that in and it starts charging and you just like put that into a cable and then uh, when you're ready to go, like off you go, you know, that's it. Uh, you've got a little belt clip on the back there so you can like put that on there and there's a little thing here so you can actually take that off and it's like a microphone and a headphone basically so you don't have to use it like that holding it to your mouth if you want to be a bit more discreet you can like put that on your belt 
and basically have a little headpiece that goes round and like have that in your ear. So yeah, like really versatile little things and uh, they're great to carry with you if you're living in a place where you don't know when the phones will go down or like something might happen basically and, uh, and you might not be able to like contact anyone. So it's like great to have these uh, ready as a prepper. So yeah, hope you enjoyed my videos. And again, if you like them, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, share, whatever it is that you want to do, and uh, support my channel. It'd be great to hear from you if you have anything to add on this. If you want to like share your stories about using these, uh, feel free to like write in my write in the comments below. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching.